we're back with the Opie and Anthony program, live from Los Angeles, California. Live from L.A. Where the hell are we again? At the uh, Commerce Casino. Thank you, Anthony. And we're here for what? The World Poker Tour Invitational. And you're going right. to be playing with these animals soon? Yes, I will be uh, right there at table 14 uh, when this thing kicks off. They're saying about um, 2 o'clock Pacific. So that's 5 o'clock uh, Eastern that uh, the festivities should be getting underway. But No way. There's no, no one even in here yet. They, they, they said it might be a little later than that. Hey, uh, we lost Jim Norton. Started. Norton's oh, running around, yeah, and we asked, what is he doing? And Ben goes, he's looking for celebrities to take his picture with. Did you get any? There's, there's nobody here yet. Oh, there's no one here yet. No. Let me explain, oh, Jim Norton. He, to his third priority when we're on the road oh. is to do the radio show. His first priority is to get laid. So right. he, he's probably already, uh, uh, you know, combed the whole area, make sure there's no strippers or whores around. Uh -huh. And then his second priority is to get his celebrity photos. And then the third priority, if he has any time left and he's feeling it, he'll do the actual radio That's show. That's not true. You guys are definitely second behind Dude, the celebrity Dude, you ran photos. off to get pictures done. <laughs> but there was no one out there. But Steve walked over and goes, oh, my God, there are some celebrities outside. And I walked out. Yes, you did. It was either you or Ben. All right, get, get the microphone. So uh, Deacon was no Jones was hilarious. He was very huh? funny. God damn, was that good. And we set up Rich Voss great. I thought great. Rich Voss was going to get his face smashed. I didn't write that. I was selling you down the river. Like, yeah, I know. He always says that about steroids. Anything that... Oh, I'm not really guys selling you down the river. But Voss, uh, you could see his heart went up into his throat because Deacon Jones couldn't believe, first of all, that Rich Voss was standing. He towered over him. Yeah. Uh, Deacon, he said, what, 6'5", six, 6'6". Five, six, six, six. Five. Voss is tops 5'3 and a half. See his hands? <laughs> yeah. His hands were like huge. His hands yeah. were as big as my whole hand. Neat could, fist. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, where did Voss go? Um, he went outside. We were going to go out there and take some celebrity pics, but there were none. There was no one out there. But you went out there to get pictures with celebrities. He, he went out there trying to be a celebrity so people would uh, take pictures with him, and it's just not panning out. No one out. recognizes no, him anywhere. Of no, not. he's leaning up against the wall hoping someone will come up to him and say, hey, can I have my picture taken with you? He's That's trying to tell me that Vince Vaughn recognized him uh, last night. No, he didn't. He's actually trying to tell me that Vince Vaughn recognized him, came over and shook his hand. He probably mixed him up with some Puerto Rican he met one time. Like, oh, yeah, didn't I meet you one uh, down in the barrio? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Well, I, I think we got all the microphones finally working and everything yeah. is uh, yeah, this rocking works. and rolling. So. Yeah. Oh, we got the other one. That one works now? Yeah, too? I guess it works now. Hey, okay. I got to cool. give props to uh, little Jimmy Norton. We were flying out of Newark yesterday to L.A., and all of a sudden uh, I'm walking uh, through the first class uh, section, and all of a mm -hmm. sudden I see Jimmy grabbing all his bags. And, and going back to, uh, with the rowers, as we like to call them. And, the uh, rowers and coach. And I go, Jimmy, where are you going? He goes, ah, oh, dude, it's, it's Steve's birthday. I'm giving him my first class seat. I thought that was cool as hell. That was, well, you weren't there for the debate that went oh on in his head God. for about an oh, hour. Oh, really? Of oh, course. my God. He's pacing in first class, pacing. I'm just sitting there, and he keeps going, should I, you know, I, I kind of want to, you know, for his birthday, uh, I'll switch seats with him so he's up in first class. And I'm like, you're a better man than I. What well, was business I, first, doing. which is much bigger seats? Well, yeah, because oh, Kenny... This first class section was ridiculous huge. Well, it had the sleeper seats, and uh, Kenny's like, wow, Norton would never give up a sleeper seat ever. Yep. He, sleeper seat and dinner was just... Th dude, they pass around a menu uh, yeah. on Continental. Oh. A menu that you choose what you want from it. And it's a, like a restaurant menu. There was one of those in, in coach, too, but it was a picture of the sandwich or there an arrow pointing at the toilet <laughs> saying you have two choices. You eat this or you go scoop out of that and munch down. I, I felt so not bad for Jimmy because he put himself in that situation. Sure. It, it's a very honorable thing to do, very it nice was. for Steve's birthday. Mm -hmm. So I figured I'd do something for him. Uh, uh, and uh, when my ice cream Sunday came, uh, I figured I'd walk it back there to, to Jimmy. So I, I come back and I, I look at Jimmy. He's got his laptop out. But the seat in front of him is, is pushed so far back that he can't look <laughs> at the screen because it's angled downward, the screen of his laptop. He almost needed a mirror to reflect what was being seen from down. Yeah, it was the worst seat I've ever seen and, on a plane. And I, what happened was we were, we were all eating something in Gallagher's Steakhouse, just having a, a, you know, like a little appetizer before the flight. And Ben was kind of joking. He goes, oh, it's Steve's birthday. You give him your seat. Like, it's a joke. And I started to think, wow, why don't I? It is his birthday. Ooh. And the whole time I'm, just, I'm like, yeah, maybe I'm going to do that. And then I get on and I see how big the seats are. And I'm like, Jesus, we're not that close. I mean, yeah. it's his birthday, but, you know, fuck him. It wasn't just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was totally unexpected. I, I, was sat, I was all the way back in row 35 just getting myself configured, and Jimmy comes.
comes back, takes a look at the area, says hello, then walks back. Well, I was just seeing the seats, how I big they were. I was doing a yeah, survey. Yeah, yeah. And, now, and I'm such an ass. I'm thinking that you might have went back to, to say something to Steve, and you saw that he was going to be sitting next to a really hot piece of ass, and that's why he did it. Oh, some you know, type of... Yeah, uh, I never thought that he actually did it because he had a, a good heart. Well, and I, you know... I was so annoyed because I kept trying to find a way out of it. Like, I, I would have been guilty the whole flight. So I asked the flight attendant, I'm like, is it okay if I switch in my, my friend and coach? And I was hoping she'd say, no, 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 FA regulations won't allow that. But then she's like, yeah. And I'm like, ah, fuck. <laughs> I keep hoping something will happen that we're not allowed to make the oh, switch. Turn we have to turn that off. That off. Well, we're trying to get messages from Eric, too. So uh, that doesn't really work, though. Uh, uh, ben, hold on to that. Yeah, Ben. Those damn that trios block all make such a noise. So then I ended up sitting in your seat, and I saw that you left behind uh, some kind of monster or whatever. Yeah, Metallica. Yes. I want to see that so bad, and I'm like, oh, do I go all the way back and give it to him or make believe I, I never saw it and then pop it in my DVD player? I'm glad you gave it to me. I would have had absolutely nothing to do. And poor Kenny, who is also six five, is crazy. Yeah. The, I love also Con- six five. Like you're what? Six like no, I was in, with, with, with Deacon Jones. I was saying also okay. Kenny's about the same height. Yeah. And um, he's crammed into a little coat. I love Continental, but you got to get bigger seats. Yeah, you can coach. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? They squish coach to make that first class section that much bigger. And you know oh, what? You got to take yeah. the Wonderful. hit and lose one row. You have to lose. Look one at row. you gunning for the for the. Uh, the poor people in the back. For the apes. I mean, not even people, really. They're <laughs> yeah. just pretty much they're, they're just talking chimps. <laughs> Ballast. Yeah. And I, uh, I was watching a little bit of that grunge movie on the plane. Right. Oh, my God, is that movie scary. On those little screens and the really bad uh, you know, headphones they give you, I'm just mm-hmm. imagining it on my system at home how mm-hmm. crazy that movie would be. The most startling movie you'll ever see. I had seen it before, and I was looking across the aisle at Anthony, who was watching it, just waiting to see if he jumped at all those token scary moments, and he got so jumpy. Oh, it was very point. scary. And uh, you should have, uh, Kenny was so annoying to the woman next to him, this big fatso was sitting in between him and Ben. And Ben, of course, three minutes into the flight, his Mount Rushmore head tilts to the left, and he's asleep. And Kenny is just talking to the girl on his right, and he's just annoying her. Where are you from? And she's like, oh, I'm from uh, Poughkeepsie. He's like, you live on a farm? He was the most annoying man. Oh, oh. very good. We have a guest. Uh, yes. Oh, Kelly Packard, right? From Baywatch? Yes. I recognize her. Yes. Of course. On, why don't we have an additional seat? Yeah, why don't we get the, a seat uh, for miss, the, uh, Let's get a seat for here, a miss, guest. The guest. Take the, my seat, miss. Jimmy, that's very oh, wait, nice of you. There is a seat here. Well, give, her the more, give her the comfier of the two yeah, seats. Yeah, why don't you take that one? I'll that's take very the hard, generous of you, Jimmy. Oh, that's I was, very I was nice. actually putting it right here. For <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi, He's here. dirty. Sorry. Kelly Packard from Baywatch. And also, uh, what was that other show you were on? Uh-oh. Ripley's. Ripley's, that's right. Okay, and I thought, uh, right, right on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like right. the Ripley's, believe it or not. I, I, I haven't seen the new version, though. I used to watch the old version. The be- old version with Jack, Jack Palanza? Jack yeah. Palanza. Yeah. That was it. That's Remember, he'd be like, time. believe it or, or not. Or not. Yeah, I always tried to squeeze that in. Like, Kelly, please don't do that. Yeah, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work. work. You need to be Jack Palanza. <laughs> yeah. For that one, but man, watching Ripley's, I remember uh, uh, it was one of those. It was pretty much the first show you couldn't eat while you were yeah. were watching uh, TV. Now, you know, with all the reality shows and stuff, yeah, uh, now it's nothing. Yeah, you know, like Fear Factor and stuff, it's nothing. But back then, I could not watch that show and eat at the same time because some of the eating things, you some know, they the come out with people, yeah. you know. My favorite, goodness. well, my the only one that really got to me, my stomach was was a guy that ate things and then stuck a vacuum down his esophagus and vacuumed it back up. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only one that got to me. The, the hanging from their flesh, all the other things I saw, that was nothing. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, they come out brutal. and do weird things to their body too, yeah. like hanging themselves. Yeah, I love uh, that. What, that, was, that, that's yeah. what cool. was the one guy that was on? He had this weird oil behind his ear, and he'd rub it, and he'd smell it, and people would get nauseous. Uh, Rich Voss, I think his yeah, name yeah, was. Yeah, what yeah. that was a mind. while ago. <laughs> that I remember been, reading that in, in the book, you know, all the one. all those books that would come yeah. out. That yeah, Ripley's, the book, yeah, yeah, not very entertaining. Big deal. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Baywatch, of course. Yeah, Baywatch, good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good times. <laughs> good times. Yeah, but and here now, I am playing and poker. now poker. Are, are you a poker player? I am. You know, I don't tell anyone I'm going to play the card. Like, what am I doing? But yeah. Is I'm that your strategy? My to strategy. Look, yeah. It's, it'll work. Do you play a lot of poker? I've never done professional, but yes, I've been playing since I was five. So. Since you were five, yeah, my you dad know what? taught me really. Anthony's young. playing too, so I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be out there. Are you? Uh, yeah, I okay. don't expect much out of myself, but hopefully but me I'll surprise either, but myself. But it's going to be fun. But now, now uh, I've been playing poker too for my whole life. But uh, Hold'em's been around forever. But uh, as far as being very popular, it's only been it's recent. Only been Do you, recent. Have you yeah. played Hold'em no, for a long no, time? That, that's been more recent. Yeah. I'm, I've been dying to get like this huge hit show so I can be on Celebrity Poker Showdown. How pathetic is that? But um, <laughs> here I am doing You don't need a big hit show because uh, Colin Quinn was on <laughs> it. I, I, so I, I, believe I, me, if, if Colin's on. People, I was like, what? But no, You're I, like, wait, I'm bigger <laughs> than that guy. <laughs> <I'm bigger laughs> than Colin. It upsets you that some people get on there. It's like... 
Donnie Deutsch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's I a nice enough guy, but Jesus. Come on, so celebrity I'm poker. I'm excited to do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you usually do well when you play? Or? You know, I do. When I'm yeah. amongst my friends, celebrities or not, I usually take the night. What's so, the uh, strategy? Again, I'm going to play under the radar, and it, I yeah. think that's going to get me farther than I'm hoping it will, because otherwise I play pretty pretty fierce, but I yeah. think today I'm going to play more conservative and just try to get as far as I can at first and you, save the fierceness for the end. Do you think you're a good uh, bluffer? I'm a great bluffer. Are you really? All poker is is acting and luck. There's a little skill, but it's mm-hmm. really, if you think mm-hmm. about it, a lot of acting. Yeah. So I can call the bluffers out on, on like, Poker Showdown or whatever in wow. a heartbeat. Wow. So, That's tough. Yeah, See, another tough thing. one. When I get nervous, I get beat red all down my chest. So turtleneck. Oh. Had to wear it. Look at that. She's thinking She's ahead with her ahead. clothing. Yeah, yeah. going to be that or a scarf, and I thought that would look ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have any tells, though, as far as, nope. you know. Nope. You just my husband keep it. may think he knows my tells, but he doesn't. He's told you you yeah, have tells? Yeah. He, yeah. But Try he to keep has you from no doing idea. Them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, do you know what table you're at? I am. I'm at 21. 21. Eight. Okay. So 21, lucky blackjack. I'm at 14, I so 14. I don't have so to. Can, uh, we can wave. Yeah, we can wave and stuff. And if we get lucky, <laughs> uh, meet up at a perhaps table. Uh, later, yes. later in the table. Any advice to Anthony? Because this is his first. Uh, My first tournament. Oh, is it your first yeah. tournament? Yeah. Play under the radar like me. I think That's it's going to get us far. That's what I figured I was going to do. Yeah. I figured maybe I'll let some of the predators really knock out some of the people that are being silly. Exactly. And then sit back and then you know play some good cards. That's exactly right. And obviously. I mean, if you get lucky cards, play them and play them right, to right. the fullest. But yeah, yeah. you think they're going to underestimate you because you're a woman? They absolutely are. You know and, something? And I'm prepared for that. I, I, I've watched a lot of the tournaments on TV, and uh, the women do very, very they well. Do. They do. And it's amazing. A lot of the times watching celebrity, uh, the celebrity yeah. poker, uh, you watch these people walk away, and there's see, the, the, the girl at the it, table. That's right. Because they get distracted. <laughs> guys are, no, because guys are so visual. You're also Why? It, it, can, it can't I possibly so. be that they're good <laughs> poker players. Yeah. Well, I, I, know know I know that's a bad thing to say, but <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, in my stupid brain, I'd be like, oh, screw the game. Look how hard she is. Ugh. This should be your <laughs> tell. Maybe I should work that every time you have a good hand, Every time you have a good hand, you flash, and the other retards will just drop their cards <laughs> on the table. You see I can see have. them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's classic. There you yeah, go. Do you have a gimmick or any? I mean, some yeah, of these some guys, have, guys have the gimmick. You don't play the gimmick no. angle? No. The Unabomber, you know, yeah, he's got no, the uh, I thought about, you know, I thought about being silly today and doing something like that, but. I, then I just I'm gonna just play. I'm just gonna yeah. play, and that'll make me even look more like I don't know what I'm doing. You know. You know who's a good player? Who? Um, what's her name from uh, American Pie? Uh, uh, oh. Elizabeth. Or, yeah. or Shannon Elizabeth. Shannon Elizabeth. Yes, I watched her play. She's here good. I watched her, but she is really goofy. She really? was lighting sage and letting it smoke around, <laughs> around her, her to <laughs> cleanse her area. <laughs> oh yeah, really. Woo-hoo. Woo! But she's so attractive yeah, that right? it didn't matter. I have asked about that. No. You know, if if she wasn't that attractive, people would have gone over and go, "Hey, kook, <laughs> <laughs> sit down." You know, but there's probably fire codes she's breaking. But everyone's just like, "Oh, she's adorable. Let her she's burn the place her down. Burn she we wants. don't care." <laughs> Kathy Baselet says that attack her with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I love it. Get out, you fat pig. You're going to kill us all. Oh, you're terrible, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, well, oh, hopefully yeah. we'll see you at a, at, a, at, a, at a finals table. Yeah, Mina Savari. She's uh, very good at uh, Yeah, is she good, too? Yeah, yeah. I've seen her play. All right. well, I, I think the girls are just going to dominate Some of the today. girls are very ruthless. Yeah. We'll have to All wait right. and see. Uh, uh, we're hoping Anthony could survive a little, little of the way. I'm, you know something? If I make it through the first table, I'll be very pleased with myself That's and how very I felt. surprised because I'm, I'm just you know you never want to be that first one out. I know. Not only at the table, but imagine the first guy out in the whole tournament. I don't want to be oh, that guy. If so, that happens, I'll just I'll have to because I'm a poor loser. I'll I be really pissed. Am. I think I I'll really be am. pissed if they deal me like pocket aces the first hand because I'm like I gotta play them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I want to get like a seven deuce <laughs> offsuit. You go all in right. Away if you have pocket aces. That's just in. it. Now, what do you do? It's I the first. It's the first the hand. The first hand. Don't. I know. Because I don't, don't want to go out on the first up. hand. Right. <laughs> so you're going to take a beautiful hand yep, and just and, waste and, it. And, yep. Or or Gosh, slow play it maybe. See, I can't play poker. I would have you would to. just go all oh, in. You would have yeah. to. Yeah. That's why I'm hoping for a lot of bad off suits and just, you know, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here I go. I'm That's in, great. looking around the room to see if anybody's walking away. <laughs> all right, I won't be the first guy. <laughs> what season, like what season of Baywatch? Are I did in? season uh, seven and eight. So right after Pam left, Carmen Electra's first year, it was her and I. Cause my, I, I don't watch you. Baywatch, but a friend of mine watched it. He said, like, the Carmen Electra years Uh-oh. were really good. And I'm like, you think so? And he's like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it had her on it. Wouldn't they be good? No, they were very good. The best years, I think, were when I was Ooh. on it. Okay. Well, yeah, no, he liked it better as it actually progressively. He said it actually progressively got better. I agree. But I hadn't seen it. I, I have to agree. 
can I? Uh, it's a little weird, but th- this is Jim Norton. He does a show with us, obviously. Hi. He's a pretty famous comic and Hi. Hi. Lino and things Hi. like that. But there's so- something about his body that just drives us nuts. Oh. Do you oh, mind, no. Jimmy? Oh no, it's embarrassing. It's just, his, it's just his arm. He doesn't have much hair on his arm. Look at Look it. Look how hairless. Look how hairless <laughs> it is. <laughs> 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 now, do you wax? No, I don't have to. <laughs> That's just naturally. I'm just a hairless yeah. lad. Yeah, I've always been that way. Yeah. <laughs> Very popular with the camp counselors. <laughs> he's like a little. <laughs> he's like the popping fresh dough boy. Just <laughs> hairless. You poke him, he goes hee hee hee. Nothing wrong with that. All right, Kelly. Good luck to you today, man. Kelly, thanks for stopping by. Good luck. Thanks a lot. I need it. I have a picture with you on the floor. All right, there she goes. Kelly Packard, Anthony. We're going to go right to David Stein, World Poker Radio. Does the world poker oh, radio, yeah. Anthony? Here he is. Fellas. Hey, David. David how, how are you? Doing, you? Man? I'm doing great. Good luck. This is, nice uh, to be here. This is kind of exciting. i got to tell you, I didn't expect this. I have no idea. I take a peek every once in a while, but the setup is amazing here. I'm the huge fan. You know, it's always watching all the tournaments. I hooked up with the tour just to see Shauna Hyatt. So, you know, yeah, has nothing to do front. with the cards. Yep. Saw her uh, by the front door before. Did you see her? Have you seen her Playboy layout? Get out of here. Really? Yeah. yeah. When Playboy she was layout? 19. Stop it. And and I don't want to give away her age right now, but it's been a couple of years. She looks better now than she did at 19. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have to check that out now. Yeah, I thought we'd start out with chicks. So. Yeah. <laughs> and Jim Norton is funny. That we guy's love a flat-out funny guy. Oh, Isn't he? Yes. We love little Jimmy here <laughs> on the program. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got more hair than me, so. Well, yeah. not really, man. He keeps more. it tight. Maybe on his head, but the rest of his body has nothing. Pretty there. hairless. I really have a mess. <laughs> I don't want to know. Why you know that? But no. go ahead. I should be walking Every... off a spaceship in a Spielberg movie, a little smooth and nothing. <laughs> I actually, I helped him out a little bit with uh, one of his comedy CDs, and I'll tell you why. Because we went to this photo shoot where he had to get just in his tidy whities and pull them up as high as he possibly could, and he's completely naked. Like a wedgie. That. Yeah, just completely up, almost up to his nipples, and that's some of the photos that are inside his CD. Yeah, that's the visual that I was hoping to get today. <laughs> yeah, <Thank exactly>. you. <laughs> just to wreck that hot visual you gave us with the hot chicks. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, are there any celebrities out there? Uh, yeah, there are quite a few. Oh, who's out there? I, I their saw Norm in. McDonald. Okay. And, and I, I was digging listening to Norm McDonald talk. I think we're going to get Norm on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I want to see who's out there. Yeah. We're yeah. going to have Norm in a Norm. few minutes, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. is it going to be between you and me to see who gets up out of the uh, tournament first? <laughs> I don't know. What table are you at? I'm at table two. Table two? I'm okay. at table I'm two. I'm at 14. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. H- how confident are you? you know? I, I was listening to you talk to uh, the uh, the hot chick about the pocket yeah. aces. I don't know what hap- what happens if you get What do you do? Pocket. First hand, first deal, boom, you get a great hand. I'm going to sl- slow play it. You're going to slow play it. Yeah. Not yeah. because you think you should, but because you think, I, I don't, don't want to be out. Exactly. Although... You could double up right there. It would be embarrassing what for the pressure. World Poker Tour radio pressure. guy to be out on the first hand. Right, exactly. Yeah. Imagine the pressure that would be off you, though, if you could double up on that first hand. You mm-hmm. could sit back and carouse for a while, you know? Or knock everybody at the table out. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah start pressuring them a little bit with your big stack. Uh, it might, uh, might be the right strategy, but like, like you said, I think it would be more of a slow play just out of fear that you're going to screw up. Somebody's holding a, you know, uh, maybe somebody else. It's 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 very nerve wracking going going into this uh, tournament. Well, I, especially for a stalker like me, because uh, you know, yeah, there's yeah. so many <laughs> so many potential victims. <laughs> have you have you ever done a tournament playing? I, I played in one tournament. Did I played in one tournament and uh, crapped in my pants. Did you? Yeah. Any that's big, that's uh, definitely a tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm learning the, the, term, the terminology myself. I think that's a tell. Does he tweak his nose? He fills his socks with shit. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Anthony, I mean, you're, you don't have high expectations, though. You just don't want to be the first guy out. I just don't want to be the few. first out. You know what? The, it, probably the worst thing that could happen is if I, I do well and start, you know, working your way up. You get through the first table. If you can knock out one table, then you start thinking in your head, hey, maybe I can do this. Oh, it's like making the turn in golf, even party right, going, right, hey, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot the course record. Yeah, and then you fall apart. Yeah. And Is there it's a pro at every table, though? Or how's, how's this working? I don't know how they're working. I don't, I don't know how it's spread out, but generally it's something like this. They would, they would spread the pros out. Yeah, but I don't think there's that many pros for sure. how many tables they got the first table. I think, I think the first round, there's going to be some saps out there and some people that uh, know how to play poker, you know, moderately. How do you think you do? You, 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 uh, do, you, do you usually do well when you play? Or? You know, it, it's, it's really something that 
I'm not really going to talk about right now. Uh, oh, oh, keeping oh, it close to the poker, vest. little poker face close there. Close to the vest. No, I'm going to kick. I'm going to kick everybody's ass. There you go. You know, Confidence. That's, that's how I'm going to go out. Do you if play I'm, online at all? Oh no, that's scary. I've, yeah, I've done that. Yeah. I, yeah, that's what I've, that's but you know, what I've a really interesting thing, and we did one of our poker features uh, for World Poker Tour Radio on this. A lot of guys are playing online, and they're sitting there going through two packs of cigarettes. They think they're hot crap, and all of a sudden they come to a tournament, especially in California where you can't smoke, mm-hmm. and they're out in the first round. Ah, uh, they're, they're out just throwing it for a cigarette. Absolutely. <laughs> Distracts so them. Playing yeah. online is completely different. Yeah. You know, guys are touching themselves at home. And <laughs> yeah. it's, not that I haven't done that at a tournament here. <laughs> Porn in another window on your computer. <laughs> yeah. In a real tournament, you can't just close the box for a minute and jack off the donkey porn and then go back up. <laughs> That's right. The, the, the key to tournament play is, for, for guys like, like you and me that, mm-hmm. that don't play professional, right. is, and I'll go back to the golf analogy, don't have too many thoughts in your head. Mm-hmm. When you go out to the driving range, you've got 17 different swing thoughts. When you get out to the course, two swing thoughts. Yeah. So go out there with just one or two strategies, and if they work, they work. If you get some cards, terrific. That's it. Right on. Well, right we've got to take a quick break. You're going to be around the area. so I'm going to be around the area, All right, be and popping. I might be standing up uh, from those tables <laughs> faster than you might think. Very cool. nice. Oh, look who's Thank next, you, Anthony. Yes. The founder of uh, the World Poker Tour. Yes. After the break, it's the Opie and Anthony program live from Los Angeles. Nice. Live from the World Poker Tour in Los Angeles, California, it's the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. What are you talking about? I sit here, I make some asinine comments, and I check the computer. And you're a good squeezer. Yeah. yeah. It is.